Welcome to show number one. You're the luckiest people to get to be here tonight for the fifth, five years, fifth annual Youth Performance Festival. We are the co-directors. I'm Sarah Marcus. I'm Kelly Silliman. Uh, I'm also the program director for the Northampton Center for the Arts here at 33 Holly. And Sarah is the co-director of the Play Incubation Collective, which is the, one of the co-sponsors of this um, amazing festival. <clears throat> we're so happy to have you all here. Raise your hand if you were here for year one. Anyone? Year one of YPF? Yeah. Um, we're so happy to have you here tonight, people who have been here before, people who it's your very first time here, future youth artists, we're happy to have all of you here um, for this multi-generational artistic celebration. The mission of YPF is to center the creative agency of youth artists ages 8 to 18. We have a full age range of youth artists this year um, and to provide mentorship as these youth artists create their own original performance pieces. Um, as Kelly mentioned, YPF is a collaboration between the Northampton Center for the Arts, Play Incubation Collective, along with our newest partner this year, Make It Springfield, um, which is an amazing makerspace in Springfield. Um, and we'll tell you more about that in just a moment. So I just want to take a moment to welcome you to this building. 33 Holly is a project of the Northampton Community Arts Trust. And the Arts Trust owns the building, and they had this brilliant vision to make affordable space for artists in the valley. And there are three organizations that program in the building. The Northampton Center for the Arts, APE Gallery, and Northampton Open Media, who we are so grateful is here filming today as, as our media sponsor. Thank you. <laughs> I want to take one moment to acknowledge that we are operating on unceded Nipmuc and Pecumtuck land. We could not do what we do without being on this land, and we also know that a land acknowledgement is not enough. The Center for the Arts has a commitment to send $500 a year to the Nipmuc Indian Development Corporation, which is the organization that is tasked with uh, cultural preservation for the Hassan Misko Nipmuc Band. And we invite anyone who attends a performance or takes a class to contribute to that, um, the money being sent. And there is information about that and QR codes in the lobby if you would like to support that effort. Thank you. I'm gonna tell you just a bit about the behind the scenes process that went into what you're seeing tonight. Um, this year we have our biggest cohort yet of youth artists. We have 44 youth artists involved this year in YPF. So because we have such a big group, we have two different casts, um, some of whom are in the audience tonight. So we have cast A, who you're seeing tonight, which is about half the kids. And then tomorrow night, if you want to come back, or on Sunday at 4, you can come back and see cast B. So completely different show, more amazing art, so two different casts. And we hope a lot of you will get a chance to see both. Um, we have an amazing team of mentor artists this year, many of whom are coming back for the fourth or fifth year in a row. Um, so if you are a YPF mentor artist, stand up, give a wave. Thank you, mentor artists. Um, you can see all of their names in the program and you can talk to them after the show about the process. So this is a culmination of a seven week process. We had a group rehearsing here um, at the Northampton Center for the Arts and we had one cohort rehearsing at Make It Springfield, um, a makerspace in Springfield. And this building was filled with youth artists in every room, this room, the dance studio, downstairs, in the hallways, um, creating their work. And the mentor artists were there to work with the youth artists to execute their vision with the youth artists in charge and the mentor artists there as guides. Um, lots of collaboration happened between youth artists, as you'll see tonight some of whom knew each other and came in and wanted to work together. Some of them met for the first time and created new partnerships as artistic partners. We really want to celebrate the collaboration that all of you did together. Um, and there's a huge range of art forms. So you're going to see theater, you're going to see comedy, you're going to see dance, you're going to see music. Come back tomorrow, you'll see even more. 
Um, we have youth artists who have been here for all five years. We have youth artists who are here for the first time. We have youth artists trying out brand new art forms that they've never done before. Um, so all of that is to say that this is a big celebration of the artistic process. Thanks, Sarah. Um, so YPF is a free program for the youth artists, and that's something that we have made happen all along and that we feel very committed to. And we couldn't do it without um, the support of our business sponsors, and we take this really seriously. Northampton in the Valley is a really special place where a lot of small businesses really do support the arts in particular. Um, every time I leave, I feel lucky to come back and realize how much support for the arts there is. And so I won't list them all, but please do take a moment to look at this screen, the screen at the end, your programs. And if you patronize these businesses, which I hope you will, let them know that you appreciate that they support community endeavors, because we really um, couldn't do it without them. Um, also, if you would like to donate to YPF, there are, is a donation jar in the lobby, and we also, you can also use the QR codes that are on the ticket um, uh, sign out there to, to send that donation in. Um, please note that it's for YPF, or my colleague will take it for her own projects. <laughs> Um, thanks again to Gnome for recording both Friday and Saturday night shows so that we get both casts um, recorded and that will be available on our website in about a month. Uh, no photos or videos. Because Gnome is recording, you don't need to. Please take a moment now to check to make sure your cell phone is off. Um, and thank you for respecting that. And other than that, I think we're ready to go, right? Yeah, there's no intermission. No so intermission. Yes, if you need to use the bathroom, it is okay to just go out and use the bathroom and come back in. Try to enter and exit between performances and enjoy the show. I am very pleased to introduce our first performance, our cello trio extraordinaire. Um, this piece is a, a trio of, of pieces. So we have YPF Composition 2024, written and performed by Michael, Snow Day in D minor, written and performed by Des, and YPF Waltz, written and performed by Lily on cello and Michael on piano. And we have one extra announcement. There are some pauses in between, or in the middle of some of the pieces, so please hold your applause for a few seconds before applauding so that we can continue with our pieces. Thanks.
Welcome to the stage, Max and Theo, for some improv. Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, it's, uh, 
we weren't mm -hmm. expecting anyone to uh, call. So and, and, uh, um, can you, I you can buy a new product. No, no, I'd like to buy a new product. <laughs> oh, I might have been that show later. to announce our first video series for the evening. We have a few different video series happening um, tonight, and if you come back tomorrow, we have even more. So please welcome to the stage Maddie and June and Tova to introduce their video pieces. My name is Maddie, and I have an electronic music piece and it's called Electricity. My name is Tova and my stop motion piece is called The Flower Blooms. In the, in the, like, the thing, it might say that it's music by me, but I ran out of time so it's on copyrighted score from Stop Motion Studio. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Hi, my name is June. This is my video piece called Lucy and the Monster. Hope you enjoy.
to our show. I'm Mr. Brown Blob. I will be your narrator for today, folks. Let's get our main character, Lucy. I realized this is getting me nowhere. Let's just walk. Brown Blob, you're getting carried away. This is my story. Sorry, just doing my job as the narrator. Please go away. I need to tell my story. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I'll go away. Thank you. Adios. Phew, he's gone. Now it's time to tell my story. I was walking to school. Good morning, class. Today we... Class, what's that smell? Lucy, is that smell coming from your backpack? I think it's coming from my lunch, Miss Rachel. What is in your lunch? Well, oh... Just put it in the closet, please, Lucy. Okay, Miss Rachel. Thank you. Like I was saying, today... Oh, is that the bell already? Give me moldy cheese! We don't have moldy cheese. Oh! Lucy, what was that smelly thing in your lunchbox? It was your moldy cheese, Miss Rachel. Well, we need that moldy cheese. Okay, I'll go grab it from my backpack. Here it is. Great. Give it to, uh, what's his name again? Toots. Right, give it to Toots. Okay. Here you go, Toots. Ooh, yummy moldy cheese. Ooh, that moldy cheese was very yummy. Do you have any more? Yeah, yeah Lucy. Do you have any more moldy cheese? Nope. Oh, no. no. Hello, I'm back. Did you miss me? No. Huh, well, no gotta be mean about it. Leave. Um, you don't even want me to leave. The door is right over there. Huh, fine. Bye, folks. Hope you enjoyed the show. down ladies and gentlemen we have a extra special little thing for you now welcoming the one and only toots is that my cue to come in yeah oh okay uh what am i supposed to say again you're supposed to say about like how awesome this movie was, and like, you know. Oh yeah, this movie was awesome. <sighs> you aren't very good at this. That's rude. No wonder Lucy said you were rude. Why does everybody think I'm so rude? You are, I'm leaving. For some stand-up comedy, folks. Are you ready? You are in for a treat to see the debut stand-up comedy performance of Sylvan Coco Romano. Hi, 
Have you ever had an experience that was so incredibly painful that whenever you looked back on it, you would just cringe just from the mere recollection of it? Well, I have several, but the one I'm thinking of right now, how, it, well, it all started last summer. It all started when my parents came to me and my sibling, Lyndon, and they told us that they had gotten tickets to see Guns N' Roses play at Fenway Park in Boston. And I was like, yes, I was so excited, because they're one of my favorite bands, you know. So we made a day out of it. Like, we drove back down to Boston and went canoeing on the Charles River, and we got some food. And then at around 6 o'clock, we decided to, you know, like, meander over to the park. I mean, my mom had mentioned that there was no designated parking area for Fenway Park. But it'll be fine. I mean, what could possibly happen? Like, I mean, I suppose it is possible that we could be stuck out in the traffic for three hours in the pouring rain because my parents don't know what they're doing. <laughs> but no, that, that could never happen. So anyways, well, we were driving around um, for, and it, the, it was pretty crowded on the streets. And there was like a light rain beginning to fall, but it was no big deal. And we were, um, we were driving around the, um, the Fenway Park, but we had to keep like circling it because we couldn't really find any spots. And uh, it was taking us a little bit of time. And as we were circling, I noticed, you know that big sign that, that is pretty famous actually, that Sitco sign that's next to Fenway Park? Yeah. Yeah, and that one, yeah, and it's, and it's, and I kept feeling like that sign was, was trying to say something to me. It was trying to communicate something with me, something deep, a deep message. <laughs> hey, oh my gosh, this concert is so good. Like, oh my gosh, Guns N' Roses, yeah. They are. That's a great band right there. You know, I've, I've, got, I've got a great view from up on this hall, high pole. I mean, yeah, the concert just started. It's, it's going great. Well, see ya. Good luck finding a parking spot. So anyways, my dad, he's driving around. And he's, trying to, he's squinting through the rain. He's trying to find a parking spot. He's looking like, Is that one? Is that one? Oh, I think that's a parking spot. Let me go. And we go towards the parking spot at two miles an hour. And at the last second, a car cuts in front and steals the parking spot right out from under us. I guess that's Boston for ya. <laughs> and we're still circling. And it's been almost like 30, 40 minutes now. But we're not going to give up. Okay, we are, we are committed to seeing this concert. And that sign, you know, that sign, it feels like it's talking to me again. Oh, hey, long time no see. So, oh, you're, you're still in your car? You haven't found a place to park? Oh, you could try Harvard Yard. Have you tried Harvard Yard? No? All right, well, good luck. Okay. What's this guy's problem? And then I realized, I knew I was being so passive aggressive. It's because me and my family, we're die hard Yankees fans. That was it. And so I was kind of bored at this point. So, but I don't know if you've ever been in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a vehicle for an extended period of time with a sibling? <laughs> I'm sitting here, and here's Lyndon. And I'm sitting here, I'm just like quietly like looking out the window, and my brother over here, he's like, when are we gonna get there? When are we gonna get there? When are we gonna get there? And I'm like, Lyndon. Okay, first of all, he's from my park. 
Here's us. We're pretty close. Okay, that's not that's that's not the issue on the table here. When are we gonna get there? <laughs> Siblings. <laughs> Hi, Lennon. Oh, he's not here tonight. You're here later, though. And so, I'm you know I'm bored. So I'm trying to do. I'm trying to entertain myself. You know, at this point. So I'm like, okay. I'm not getting to see Guns N' Roses, like, kind of unlikely that's gonna happen, but, you know, what if I, what if I try to, like, sing some of those songs to myself in my head? Like, what's a good one? Oh, uh, Paradise City, that's a good one, I love that song. And then, oh, how does it go? It goes like, take me down to the Paradise City where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Oh, won't you please take me home? Paradise City? More like hell on earth. Take me home. No, seriously, take me home. I want to go home. Take me home. <laughs> and, you know, Axel Rose, you know, he also says, one of his famous song lyrics, that we all just need a little bit of patience. But at this point, I was ready to run screaming out into the rain. And so, if we did not leave soon, because I could not take much more of this. And so I communicated this to my parents, and they listened to us. They listened to me, and I thought, and I, th I thought it was over. But you know, as we drove away from the stadium, that sign. <laughs> hey, I won. <laughs> you lost. I will always be here to see all future concerts at Fenway Park <laughs> as a monument to your failure. <laughs> but uh, don't, don't go start getting your gas at Cumberland Farms now. Don't, don't start doing that. And so, we even though, but it, this couldn't even be over now, this arduous trek, this journey, because we still had to find our hotel. And this isn't helped by the fact that it's 9 o'clock at night. It's like close to pitch blackout. And my parents refused to use like, like Google Maps or any sort of technology like that because they're from the 16th century. <laughs> <laughs> and instead, they have a, a paper map. <laughs> uh, last time I saw something like this, I was like in preschool. I'm like, what, what is this? What is this written with a, with a quill pen? Does this, does it unfurl from a scroll? I, I felt like we were explorers, like of a new land with this, with this map. It was like taking me back to a time when people were like, oh, I doth spy that we should name this Cambridge Boulevard. Oh, might we navigate by way of Boston Street? <laughs> like, what is this? And so, Finally, we find our hotel after driving past it like three times, and we turn in for the night. And then we continue on to the rest of our vacation. Like, we go to Cape Cod and everything, and I kind of forget about this incident, or I try to block it out of my memory. And I succeed pretty well in that effect until, until like two months later, when my parents came to me and Lyndon again, and they were like, hey kids, we got another concert opportunity. You want to go see Green Day, hey? Want to go see Green Day? I was like, yay, Green Day, I love that. Where are they playing? Where are they playing? Where, where are they playing? <laughs> Fenway Park? Mom, Dad, I would love to never go near Boston again. Uh, hello, we are Watermelon Lip, Lip Gloss. Gloss. I'm Day. I'm Anna. I'm Layla. And this is our song, No Means No. Um, it's a song about sexual assault. Um, I'm a third year here at YPF, and so far on all the songs that I've heard, I haven't heard a song that was addressing this topic, so we thought that it'd be good to put out some awareness in our song.
Just for my girlies All my girlies Well speak up for the ones that can't Go on, say the names, huh? What were they wearing? Ew We're always victim shame Not even held to my name Losing cases all day Come on, say her name Bending me into shape Things that my body can take Get, Get your, your hands, hands off of me Well, my name always in your mouth <sighs> Are you jealous? I'm in the spotlight You know I am, boy Late at night just trying to get home, is it my fault for walking all alone? My eyes are up here, why are you looking down there? No means no boy. Get it just a number, that's what they said. Don't play with me, I ain't your little toy. Just let me live, I'm just a kid. I don't want to feel this pain you give. <laughs> Daisy in the house. Now why you be pointing at my boss boy? Now I put on my ugly child on cheap things you couldn't have. Couldn't get me so you feel the need Now to cool your name feeling Ha! You don't know boundaries You enjoy staring? Why is your mind running? 한 달러씩 아이처럼 가리쳐질까? 이게 다큰 녀석이 왜내 몸을 타는데 나는 그냥 어린아이인데 웃음지가 아니라 Boy just look away Ha! Your fault I you good to smile Cause Lonnie didn't teach you many manners Being blessed to stand is with a gift and a curse Unwanted attention could it get any worse? One fourth in women One sixth in children One eighteenth in men Are you seeing these numbers? A week, a month, a year still waiting Still waiting for mine, for my sense of justice Late at night, just trying to get home Is it my fault for walking all alone? My eyes are up here, why are you looking down there? No means no boy, get it in your head He's just, just a number, that's what they said Don't play with me, I ain't your little toy Just let me live, I'm just a kid I don't want to feel this pain you get since when was this a contest of never dressed to impress? Picking me apart like I'm some sort of doll Expecting me to sit here and take it all Late at night, just trying to get home How's it our fault for walking on the bar? My eyes are up here, why you looking down there? No it means no boy, boy, get that through your head It's you just a number, that's what he said it's Don't play with me, we aren't just toys Just, just let, let us live. live, we are just kids We don't wanna feel this pain you give My name's Anna. I worked with my partner for this project, Kaya, to make this piece called My Own Monsters. For this project, Kaya wrote the script, and I made the paintings that are going to be projected. And of course, we both act in it. This story is imperfect. It is true. This story follows a teenager. Are you ready to follow her? Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, you asked for it. <laughs> yep, so this is the team that will change over the course of the story. Surprisingly. Anyway, see Jay James in school a lot. Don't tell her mom. And she also writes a lot and draws too. But these drawings aren't regular. These drawings are her friends. They were my friends when I was younger, too. I'm not crying, you're crying. Let's move on now for our drawings that she draws in the middle of the night to the land of these creatures. These are the creatures who wander at night. These are her creations. Over there. Is the ranger who will fight the monsters. And over there are the monsters who hunt and yell mightily with red gray scales. 
The ranger is wearing a pointy mask and a cloak. The monster looks different each time she draws, but currently it's shiny and red-gray. But in the middle of all that is a son, the one who watches over and protects them both. She dreams about them fighting each night, and yes, sometimes it ends well, but sometimes it doesn't. Watch this. You see, right as the monster gets destroyed, the ranger stands there, smiling, and the monster yells, and then pow, it's all over. It's done, and he's gone. There we go. Back to the present. Back to the bedroom and back to the goal. So yes, this goal did change. Maybe she changed in the smallest way that only she will know about. But she did change. We can all change in such small ways that we never notice, but change is still change. We can try to be better every day. Nobody is perfect. Everyone has their flaws, but at least we aren't monsters, or are we? We may be really kind, really helpful, etc., but behind all that, we do have dark things about us, even if it's a super small thing. You see, we are all of these things, and yes, we are just humans trying to get through the day. Maybe next time, try saying hi to the old lady who parks terribly next to your car. Or talk to somebody who you haven't talked to at school. All right. We don't have one. We have two stand-up comics tonight. Get ready. If you were here last year, you know him, you love him, please welcome to the stage, Ian Kim! Okay, so uh, if you guys recall, last year I did stand-up comedy, and this year I decided to do it again. And you know who else did? My sister, right over there, who also sang uh, No Means No. Uh, they are Asian, they are not the white one or the black one. <laughs> nah. My my sister, uh, obviously they're really cool. I love them, they're my sibling. But when they were younger, they did do some weird things. <laughs> Over there, they're just like, friends are just like, so when they were about 10 years old, whenever they were born, they would sit on the couch and they would make this uh, sound. They would go, <laughs> Don't ask me why they would do this, but they would do that for an hour and you stand there. And I'll just be upstairs doing my homework. I was like six, I was stupid. I was like, one plus one. First, I must multiply the equation by C. No. And downstairs, I did too, which isn't helping. I think me and my sister were the leading cause for why aspirin was still in business. As soon as someone, uh, that's when I discovered what a migraine was. It seemed like wherever I went, someone told would go, oh, Ian, I have a migraine. And I was like, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing my sister loves, K-pop, OK? K-pop, one of their favorite things, just always K-pop. This leads to them liking K-pop guys, and they'll show me randomly. I'll be on the, I'll be in the car, minding my own business, whatever. I'll just be uh, doing whatever. And they chin over to me and they show me their phone, right? They're like, ah, you gotta admit this guy's pretty cute. This guy's pretty cute, right? <laughs> they still mean this guy's pretty cute. This is pretty cute. <laughs> it's like a whole infomercial. It's like, oh, buy this guy. It's cute, right? <laughs> and I'm just in the corner, like, uh, no means no. <laughs> We have so many family friends over, okay? It seems like every day of the month we have a family friend over. And I was impressed by your uh, Google. It's just right in the living room. Uh, you say, hey Google, do something. And it does something. I know, genius. You just say, oh, hey Google, what's the weather? It tells you the weather, right? Everything works fine. We had like neighbors over and we were like, hey Google, turn on the lights. And they were like, wow, it's magic. <laughs> right? You know, when you actually try to use uh, Google for something useful, 
It doesn't work, of course. I'll be like, oh, Google, uh, I just broke up with my girlfriend, I'm really sad. And they'll be like, would you like to hear about America's greatest couples? And I'm like, let's give it to my. Same thing happens, like, when in your emergency, you're like, oh, Google, call 911, I'm bleeding out. And they're like, would you like me to call your ex-wife? Right? Okay, I'm going to tell one more joke and then leave. So, I was at school and school's boring. So, <laughs> I just say that all day. School is boring. I get applause. School is boring. <laughs> no. So, I was bored. So, I pulled out my Chromebook. Boom. And I typed, why are my friends? Results just flood the screen, okay? I was, I was super curious what would come up. Here's what came up. Why are my friends toxic? Why are my friends mean? Why are my friends stupid? You know what the last one said? Why are my fries soggy? That's what the last one said. Could you imagine the group of people like, oh, my friends are toxic. It's like, oh, my friends are mean. This guy's like, oh, my friends are mean. Or <laughs> stupid. And so this one guy in the corner like, my fries are soggy, okay? <laughs> yeah, Jeffy, sure, your mental health is important by spending ten dollars on these suckers, okay? That's my time. All right, it's time for our next video series. Welcome to the stage, Silver and Damien and Nico. <laughs> Stand up to introduce. Hello, my name is Silver. Um, I made a stop motion collection of shorts. I hope you enjoy. Um, okay, my name is Nico. And my name is Daimin. It's my second year here. Same. Um, and our stop motion thingy my doodle is called the human apocalypse part one and it obviously is about a human apocalypse if you could not tell i hope it isn't too bad It is I, Pencil Scale, soothsayer of the Kingdom of Animals, wearing clothes. <gasps> Humans! They will attack in a thousand years! 
did you say? Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but did you say humans? Um, I'm sorry, sire, emperor, your majesty, uh, but I think it's pronounced human. I don't care. I'm still going to be alive by then. This is the only way. At least I won't be alive by then. is it? It's so hot out! Uh, sire, it's not hot at all. It's negative 29 degrees Fahrenheit. That makes it even hotter! I'll go feed my shark. Eh? What the heck is that? Nah, my eyes must be deceiving me. There hasn't been a human sighting in ages. Nah, my eyes are definitely not deceiving me. What a lovely dinner it is. Actually, sire, it's not dinner at all. It's lunch. <coughs> sire, there has been a human sighting. Actually, I think it's pronounced human. Who cares? We're all gonna die! You should know better. Humans don't exist, or at least don't exist anymore. Aw, don't make me the tiebreaker. The lion is right. Human! Human. Hey, you in there! Open up, animals! We need to take over your kingdom now! I think I know just what to do with those nasty humans. Ugh. I give up. Hey! Where were those dirty animals? I could have sworn I heard a couple nasty animal sounds. Now, Sharky! Maybe this is for the best. <clears throat> Good, Sharky. I'm sure this isn't going to happen again in a thousand years. comedy troupe, um, so we bounce ideas off of each other when we were making our individual pieces and we collaborated and got feedback, um, and we are so excited to present to you our pieces. Um, my piece is up first and it's called The Spy One Room Over. My piece is in the middle and it is Time Well Spent. And finally is mine, um, A Folly of Expectations. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Ding. Ding. Ah, that Airbnb has finally opened up. Good. I need to get away. Relax a little. Control, I found a good spot for the stakeout. I'll arrive under the alias. Miss Tracer. Well, I think it's a good name. <laughs> Tracer out. Oh. 
Ah, nothing like the smell of fresh air and the sight of a beautiful scene to help you relax. The sound of those gentle lake waves, the birds chirping happily, and, and heavy construction. <laughs> oh no, I will not have my vacation ruined by noisy neighbors. <laughs> you, you will not ruin my vacation with your construction. You, control, I believe you might have a suspect. He's a short, unsightly, flustered little man. <laughs> He's really blowing a top. Yes, I'm installing the radar like you asked, but he might have thrown a little wrench in the plans. He's quite loud. I may just have to wait this out and figure out his name. I'll call you if I find out what he's planning. And if you don't get out from this Airbnb, right now! Wait, who are we just talking to? Um, no one. Just my construction supervisor. <clears throat> well, I better have said you can leave. So I need this place all the way still. Uh, no, sorry. I've been ordered to stay here to complete my project. Very important stuff. Uh, I'll need to stay in this house. Hmm. Stay here? But I paid for this place. This is my Airbnb. I'll make you breakfast. Tax dollars for an omelette. This man's stupidity must clearly be an act. I mean, no one could be this incompetent, right? He's plotting something. I know it. I'll use my tranquilizer. Okay. Hit that to take him down. He's not too big. Perfect. I've got to get to work. I need to stop this terrorist. and tied him up. He can't be allowed to continue his heinous, maniacal scheme. Uh, whatever that might be. No, madam. This evil must be stopped. Where am I? You! I, I think somebody tied me up. You gotta get me out of here. Ha! I don't think so, villain. Your terrorist plot will never succeed. Terrorist? What? What are you talking about? I just came here for some rest and relaxation. Wait, the toaster. I left it on. Ha! He won't fool me. You won't trick me. No, I am taking you in. Your evil will never threaten this world again. No, the toaster. Seriously. The house is gonna... <laughs> What audition? The auditions for the Broadway musical. You didn't forget, did you? No, I totally didn't forget. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's been narrowed down to only four people for the lead. Oh, so it shouldn't take too long. Maybe. Sometimes they take forever. Oh, here comes the person now. This is going to be a complete waste of time. Alright, so tell us your name and a little bit about yourself. Uh, hi, um, I'm from Northampton. I use um, a, a pronouns. This is my own. Big <laughs> audition. Uh, um, I, I didn't get any parts in the past. I didn't really know why. But um, anyways, like, um, so I'm, I've been excited, but like, mostly scared, right? Because like, what if I do badly? Like, I'm not successful, right? So maybe I'm regretting my career choices. And uh, <laughs> I should have been a dentist like my dad always. 
always told me. And what, what if it just put in my parents for nothing? <laughs> nope. Someone get them out of here. Complete waste of time. Nope. Nope. What? Did, did I do something wrong? <laughs> nope. Um, hopefully most of the introductions are a bit briefer. There's more? Three more. Four minus one. Oh, right. I knew that. Wait, three? This is going to be a long day. Mm -hmm. Oh, here comes the next one. Hello. I understand you're wanting the lead actor. Well, look no further. Luckily for you, I am here. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so what are you going to sing to audition? Excuse you. I am Max. I can audition. <laughs> You know who my daddy is! <laughs> so, you want to audition? No! Bye! <laughs> okay. Lovely. Ooh. Hi. Hello. Um, we're the judges? All we've had today are bad actors. Uh, uh, I'm not acting. I really didn't do it. <laughs> what? Online. 
online? Yeah, and I've like seen it in a ton of movies. <laughs> movies. So I think I probably know a fair bit. <laughs> Ooh, wait. I want to try something. Okay, okay. Um, okay, okay, okay. Here's a good one. What do I have in my pocket? <laughs> Your phone? Wallet. Yes! Wow! <laughs> uh, sorry, my mom tells me I'll do better in life if I'm more agreeable. Oh, is she like you? You know. <laughs> Okay, I'll meet you in front of that. 
that taco place near the movie theater at 7. Aha. Uh -huh. A night off. I got that, right? <laughs> you know what? This is going to be great. We'll get tacos. It'll be fantastic. We'll have so much fun. Wow. Really? Okay, I can't wait. Here. For all this. And I bet you already know what movie we're going to see. <laughs> and how it ends. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that, but I'm sure we'll pick a great one. All right. See you then. See you then. <laughs> See you then. <laughs> to say. I think this, this I think this could work out. out. <laughs> All right. And for our last performance of the evening, please welcome Sora and Kat. 